Okay, this is my grab bag. All right. It's uh, some sort of little army fill pack, apparently. All right, on the actual back strap, I've, um, I have my water canteen. There we go. And I've made this, this strap for it. There we go. And I've sewed one onto my water bottle so I can just you know, clip it in there. And if I'm on the walkabout, I can use this as a belt loop. I just don't like things permanently on me, hanging off me. I find it really uncomfortable. Also on the actual strap itself, I've wrapped a poncho around there. Okay, inside, I have a SIG bottle. That's always got fresh water in it, and that fits nicely in the lid, which is great. Also, I have my uh, Moray knife. It's the stainless steel one, which is ideal for the water. Right. This little bag, also a waterproof bag, because this isn't waterproof, it's padded. It's got some holes in the bottom of the bag to let any water out if it, if it grabs any. If I have to sort of bail, jump into the water or what have you. In here I've got a spare hat. That's also a net gaiter. Spare set of gloves. First aid kit. Pretty much everything in there, purification tablets, the works. And my little survival bag, which has the, I think it's BCB survival tin and goodies in there. Got fire steel, fire lighting stuff. Um, also have a, the Gerber multi tool, little torch, and some power cord as well. You've pretty much seen all this sort of stuff before. It's just what I like to have in there. And some little sort of pick-me-up to make me feel good chocolates if I'm all alone, stuck on a rock somewhere, boats all destroyed or whatever the case may be. Also inside the bag there's another strap. I'll try and get that in there. I've got my hexi stove in here, which is quite handy. And there's also another little pocket. Um, I have my survival bag, so I've got my puncho for shelter, I've got a survival bag to get into to try and warm up. Hexi stove, I could get a bit of heat off of that. Plus this is metal, that bottle, so I can always heat up, just have some hot water or whatever the case may be. I've got a bit of bungee, a bit of cord, a bit of main stick, some um, painkillers um, yeah and a little bit of cash just in case I have to buy my way out so um, yeah that's my grab bag um, this goes with me wherever I go because a lot of the canoeing I do in is along the coast and like I said before there's there's no you can do you know a good mile or so and there is no landing you would there'd be a bit of beach but like I say, you need a whole rack of um, climbing chocks and all the rest of it to like, lead climb out, if you like. Just free climb straight out of there, which is a, a no-no when you're cold and wet. And also, if I'm out on the actual coast, I'll take some mini rocket flares, which will be sat in front of my pocket on my buoyancy aid. So um, it wouldn't be long before I'm picked up. It's a busy bit of coastline. So, uh, yeah. And also, if I ever did get into that situation, I'd always grab one of my paddles, because it's made of wood. I can smash that up, it's got a plastic blade, so I can always make a fire and burn the plastic to get some nice big black smoke coming out of it, if I needed to. But no, that's, uh, and I get in a habit of bringing this everywhere, when I'm out canoeing that is. Um, and the other cool thing about this little bag is, once I'm out, if I don't want to I don't need to carry it all if I'm walk about on dry land. I can swap stuff about. I can put my toolkit in there, you know, 
and all the rest of it. Also that goes in here is another little dry bag which has got my camera, mobile phone and now my little video camera there. So yeah, so that's my grab bag which is a must have. So uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it so far. I think I've got a little bit of battery life left. So hopefully I'm going to try and strap this camera to the the uh, centre tool of my boat at some point when I get somewhere pretty and um, I'll give it a blast. Okay, cheers.